In 2020, the Young Leaders Program continued our premier internship, launched a new virtual leadership program called the Academy, and we reached a broader audience as we expanded our reach to high schoolers, business owners, faith leaders, and teachers. Reaching high school classrooms, college campuses, and the communities that you and I live in, the Young Leaders Program is preparing the next generation of leaders to defend freedom and speak boldly in the public square. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear from a few of our participants. My experience with the Academy was amazing, and I loved everything about it. My biggest takeaway from it is that conservatives are in a perpetual battle against progressivism. We have to pull out all the stops if we are to keep our rights, our freedoms, and everything that makes us American. I know that my time with the Heritage Foundation has equipped me with the tools necessary to do so. The Academy was an eye-opening experience, one that I'll never forget. Over these last few months, my life has been enriched through our weekly engagements with Heritage Scholars via their lectures, publications, and live Q&A sessions. In my cohort, I was able to engage in dialogue about topics that really mattered to me with peers who challenged me to deepen and broaden my own perspectives and beliefs. Through my participation in the Academy, what once was a small voice of curiosity has been transformed into a newfound conviction to be informed of the why that anchors my beliefs, as well as the how that equips me to share, promote, and defend our country's greatest liberties. I have a unique background, if I may say so myself. I'm totally blind since birth. I have a doctorate in political science with lots of teaching experience in the college classroom. And I'm a convert from the left. The academy has solidified a lot of ideas I have been approaching. Particularly, the cancel culture is real. And it particularly affects conservative women and conservative racial minorities, as well as disabled people, my own group. As a fellow, I was privileged to have the opportunity to share world-class experience with like-minded fellows. As a great proverb says in chapter 27, says, as iron sharpens iron, so will man sharpen another man. Going through the academy with young professionals as a cohort, we were able to share life experiences with each other, encouraging each other to continue the good fight through conservatism, which is definitely not a thing of the past, but a battle we all need to fight right here, right now. So we need to be ready to stand up and speak the truth. The Heritage Foundation has been brave enough to do this. They have stood up and spoke the truth into the next generation. As a student in the Young Leaders Program, I've seen firsthand the incredible teaching and training that has equipped the next generation to stand firm in the founding principles of America. Thank you for your generous support of the Heritage Foundation and in turn, the Young Leaders Program. I would like to recognize the Martin family on their commitment to the next generation of leaders. Robin and Jocelyn endowed a special award to recognize intern alumni who have made an impact. And we're delighted to announce that this year's Robin and Jocelyn Martin Distinguished Intern Alumni Award is given to Vince Cognes. The Heritage Vice President of Communications, Rob Louie, remembers Vince as being a really hard worker, even as an intern, and always dedicated and committed to doing his best. Since then, he's gone on to be a great champion of conservative ideas in the media and at Daily Caller and WMAL. Vince Cognes is the editorial director of The Daily Caller and the host of WMAL's Mornings on the Mall in Washington, D.C. With over 16 years in journalism and media, he's appeared regularly on television and radio programs nationwide. Not only that, he's also a multi-year member of Talker Mag Talker's magazine, Heavy 100, a list of 100 most important radio talk show hosts in America. Congratulations, Vince. Thank you, Elena, and thank you to the Heritage Foundation. I am so grateful for the Heritage Foundation and the role that it's played in my life. You know, a decade ago when I arrived in Washington to help me get my bearings, I turned to the Heritage Foundation. Uh, I started there as the strategic communications intern and they wasted no time giving me a tremendous amount of work. And it wasn't just busy work, it was important work. Um, I got to do important things and help uh, the researchers at the Heritage Foundation uh, and it was a fascinating adventure for me, and I got to know so many great people. And it's through those people that I eventually started at The Daily Caller, and then after that, eventually, 
I went on to talk radio right here in the Washington area. And now I have the privilege of hosting the number one morning drive time talk show in all of radio right here in Washington. It's great. And every single day I get to help influence the conversation about politics, about culture, and all of the things that Washington, D.C. handles. And I do it with the assistance of a whole bunch of Heritage Foundation scholars, actually. I bring in Hans von Spakovsky, James Carafano, Mike Gonzalez. The list is endless, and I'm grateful for all of their wisdom, all of their contributions, and the way they can help me inform Washington about what's important on any given day. Again, I'm grateful to you. Thank you for this honor. I think it's a real testament to what Heritage cares about. And it's not just the people that are there now, but the people that move on and where they go and what they do and how they help carry on the ideas that Heritage actually instills in the people who pass through its halls. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.